Uh, we lost 16 uh, lorry imager observations over this period of time, three of which were for navigation as opposed to science. We lost four RALF color observations. We lost one RALF uh, spectroscopy, composition spectroscopy. We lost four ALICE atmospheric observations, but there's an important note there that the ALICE team does not expect to detect uh, on the Pluto system until about July the 12th. And these observations were being made um, as uh, due diligence in case some of the signals from the Pluto system are much brighter than expected. We also lost uh, an observation called a plasma roll in which three instruments, SWAT, Pepsi, and the radio science um, collaborate together to measure the interplanetary environment. And SWAP and Pepsi and the student dust counter lost three days of background monitoring on that interplanetary environment. We don't believe, we don't have any evidence that the, any of those have detected the Pluto system were too far away. Uh, when you um, rack that all up, it's about 30 observations altogether. Um, and that's out of a total of 496 observations uh, to be made between that date, July 4th, and uh, the end of the close approach operations two days after flyby. So uh, we're not gilding a lily. We're not counting any of the January through June observations or the July 1, 2, and 3. That's about 6% of, of the uh, observations by count. But scientifically, we weight the observations by how close they are to the planet. And so these observations very far away are not nearly as important as those um, in, the, in, the, uh, in the Pluto system, where we'll be about 100 times closer uh, than we were back this weekend. And so our assessment is that the weighted loss is far less than 1%. Space.com.